Men's Wellbeing is bringing a nine-week program for men called Common Ground back to Toowoomba. Men's Wellbeing as a group came into being back in 1998. It was created right here in Queensland. And uh, the idea, the philosophy behind Men's Wellbeing is that they subscribe to the theory that building stronger communities of men makes a unique contribution to improving the well-being of individual men. And when they succeed in doing that, that ends up being a good result for the families of those men, for any relationships in men's lives. So it's a fantastic organisation. But two of the facilitators of this second course of Common Ground uh, to be run in the Garden City, uh, Peter Campbell and Richard McAvoy, and they're with me in the studio uh, this morning. Uh, Peter and Richard, welcome. Good to have a chat to both of you. Good morning. Thank you. Can I start, Richard, with you? Let's start at the start. What exactly is Common Ground? So Common Ground is a program that's provided by Men's Wellbeing. And Men's Wellbeing is a non-for-profit organisation that's been around since about 1998. And so for the last couple of decades, they have had the Common Ground program and they've fine-tuned the program as, as they've gone along. So Common Ground is not therapy. It's just a space for men to talk about men's challenges. It's a non-for-profit and for those since 1998, its task is to help or grow men's mental health increase self-awareness and increase community and sense of community within men. And what got you involved? Because you've gone from being just a, a participant last year to being more involved this year. But take me back to last year. What was it that piqued your interest and made you want to come along and find out more about Common Ground? I'd done a little bit of men's work beforehand and kind of seen the power of men talking in a group and talking about what's real for them and a a safe space where men can open up and be a little bit more vulnerable. So I felt the power of how how useful it is to myself and my mental health and my growth. And also for myself, I think I felt that I could give a little bit as well, support other men in their growth. And that gave me the desire to become a facilitator and see if I can't help other men. For me, it was a point in my life where I had everything society told me I needed. The great job, married, kids, the house. I had it all, the facade, it was there. But deep down every day I was struggling. I was really struggling with everything. And I'm a bit of a seeker and I was reading a book that said, find men's group, reach out and speak with good men, hang around good men. And I found a men's group or a men's retreat and I went to this men's retreat and it blew my mind. It shifted my life in a completely different direction. And from that, I found Common Ground. It it, it truly was a life-changing experience for me. And I'm still, to this day, great connection with those men. Uh, We go camping, catch up, do all kinds of things. They'll just always be in my life. Although that first event, that gathering, what happened there when you say it blew your mind? How so and, and why? I didn't know something like that existed. I didn't understand how so many men could be so beautiful and vulnerable and open and caring and loving i'd never witnessed that scale yep. so many different workshops and so much awareness it wasn't like going to the pub and having a few beers and talking about the footy it was completely the opposite were you a little bit skeptical at the start look i'd have to admit i kind of went into it a bit blind and there was several times where I felt uncomfortable, but uncomfortable is, is where kind of the growth is. So, yeah, I did have to kind of reprogram my brain into saying that it's actually okay to be vulnerable around men and talk about issues that actually truly affect me and that the traumas that I've gone through and things like that, and actually to open up to other men and hear them talk about the same sort of things. What about you, Pete? Terrified, to tell you the truth. Yeah. yeah. Terrified. I went to it with the idea in my head that it would be climbing through mud puddles, playing touch football, doing some rope courses, yep. very activity-based, where it was not that at all. And, and I tried to get people to come with me. I, you know, brother, friends, please, somebody support me, somebody be my wingman. And I couldn't get anybody to go, and I had to go by myself. And that in itself was yeah, incredibly terrifying. Yeah, I can imagine. So the Common Ground course runs one night a week for nine weeks. What happens at each session over those nine weeks? What do that nine weeks consist of? It's a great question, David, and that's part of the mystery that I'm not going to give away. Nine weeks, 
There are different processes that run over the course of that nine weeks. I think the thing for me that I took away from Common Ground the most was just the tools that it gives me in life. It really built awareness in myself and just the connection with men who are also looking, just seeking. So the groups are facilitated by trained volunteers. So you're kind of guided the way through. You're kind of supported in that way. And they're set up so that it's not a conversation. Each man has an opportunity to talk without being interrupted and without kind of being responded to. And and each man is encouraged to speak in I language, which is about what's real for them. Instead of pathophysizing and say, you should do that or they should do this, it's about what happened to me and what I'm doing and what's going through me at the moment and how do I feel. So it's a real self-centered kind of way. And so because you're so well supported by the facilitators, it doesn't take long for you to actually feel quite comfortable and you can open up and there's a real focus on confidentiality as well. So I felt quite comfortable in opening up and talking about what was real for me because I knew it wasn't going to be spoken outside the room. And and that's important, isn't it? But also the I language where we live in a society where we're taught not to really talk from our perspective, really, aren't we? How often are you encouraged to actually talk about how you're actually feeling yourself? Yeah, and you it know? really changes the conversation. Mm. So if, if I'm talking about the we and you should do this and they did that, it really depersonalizes the conversation. But once you start talking about what's actually going on with you, it just changes the whole level of the conversation. Yep. You, get, you get below the line and, and start talking about some real real subjects. And I language is probably one of the best tools that I can bring into any relationship because it, it takes complete ownership of my own behavior. What's it given you, Pete? What has it given you that involvement over the course of however many years you've been involved? Yeah, something that I didn't know existed. A whole new world. A whole new world of a really amazing men, supportive men. As Richard said before, a purpose. I love giving back. Yep. Common Ground did wonders for my life and being able to give back. And getting it into Toowoomba has been something that has really been my purpose. This has been a program that's Gold Coast, Sunshine Coast, Brisbane. It's always booked out. And to get it to come to Toowoomba, this far west, is my purpose. And it's really helped me, and I I really look forward to helping other men. Richard, what about you? What's the most significant thing that you've noticed about yourself after Common Ground compared to before? I think just a greater self-awareness of how my actions and how I behave, how that affects the world. So I think I'm a lot more conscious now about what I say and what I do and, and, and how that is going to affect my family and my workmates and people around yeah, and and also just that sense of support. So, the the men once the nine weeks are over are encouraged to continue to meet. So I continue to meet my men, my group that I did last that I went through common ground through last year, and so once a week we catch up and it's just that support. And it's that one little bit of the week where I can cut out the white noise and just sort of mm. focus on my own head and how I'm feeling and what's going on. And I can speak into the group with the guys, and there's no judgment. They're not going to sit there and go, oh, well, you should have done that or you should have done this. They just open and listen. And that's really, really powerful. Yeah, because it's so rare. It is. Isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The men's movement does have a little bit of a bad name at the moment through some circles, through certain YouTubers. People are, are saying that they're putting a toxic message about masculinity. Why is Common Ground different to what some people might have in terms of ideas on what the men's movement is? Yeah, great question. One of the nights we talk about masculinity and what is masculinity what is masculinity to me i love being a man i love masculinity and i love femininity but this program we cover men and we talk about men's topics and what's going on for my life it's beautiful because it helps the women in our life that's the ironic thing we focus on ourselves as a man i focus on myself and it helps the women in our life so yeah, my invitation would be to come and check out the information night and just yep. see a little bit what it's about. We're not going to be alpha male, red pill, dark holes. Yeah, it's, men's well-being has a lot to do with women's well-being. And yep. we do a lot of gatherings together. We do our own programs and we do programs together. We are 100% for men and 100% for women. It is such a beautiful, it's a beautiful bond. And, and it is about taking ownership about yourself and your life and turn the focus back on yourself and how, how do I become a better man? So yeah, we're not there to blame anybody and mm. the focus is, is back on ourselves. 
Richard, with a group like this, who actually does come along? What sort of fellow will come along to common ground? It's interesting. You tend to get people that fall into three different categories. So the first kind of type of men is the guys that are going through something. They're in trouble, they're in a bad headspace, they're going through a divorce, or they've got to the point in their lives where they're, they're kind of suffering. The second group of men are the seekers, those that are looking to increase their self-awareness and their emotional intelligence and looking for a way to kind of expand on themselves and personal growth. And the third type of men are those guys that are looking for some companionship or looking for some mates. They may have got to a point in their lives busy with work or busy with family and they've suddenly looked around and going, where are all my friends? Or maybe they've just moved to Toowoomba and they're going, where are all my mates? You know, I don't feel connected. And you can fall into all three of these categories or whatever, but that tends to be what the type of man that we find comes to these common grounds. What I find interesting about a common ground group as well, whenever I look at them, it looks like the most ragtag, mismatched group of men I've ever seen. There could be a 20-year-old, there could be a 60-year-old, there could be a married man, a divorced man. It's not like the normal group of friends I would hang around. No. I go to the gym so everybody looks like me, right? Yeah. Everybody acts like me. <laughs> Common Ground is about men supporting men, and it doesn't matter what stage of life a man is in, it, it is a beautiful program. Yep, and it sounds like you're saying that's a positive. You know, mm, it, absolutely. It exposes I, I, I your met men I would you never to. meet before. So the information night Tuesday week, July 23rd at East Creek Neighbourhood Centre at 6.30. What exactly happens there? So anybody can come along. Men can come along, women can come along, husbands, wives, partners, whoever is welcome to come along and check it out. We just do a an introduction to everybody, meet the facilitators, meet some of the other people, and there's no obligation to stay. You can leave during that information night, or you can sign up for the nine weeks. And cost involved? As we said before, Men's Wellbeing is a non-for-profit organisation, mm -hmm. and all the prices are listed on the website. All right. Peter and Richard, fantastic to have a chat to you both. Thank you uh, so much for coming in. Thank you so much, David. Thank you for your time. Thank you for promoting it. It really means a lot. Thank you, David. Thank you for your time. Cheers, mate.